Hey guys, Chelsea here from Making Manzanita, and today we are going to be showing you some of the behind the scenes footage for when we built this X design barn door for our master bathroom. We are working on a few DIY elements for the bathroom, um, one being a barn door. So this is our inspiration and I could not find a source on this, so I would tag them here, but it looks like maybe it's a retailer. Um, but that's what we're using for our inspiration and our design. We already have um, the basic like structure of the barn door cut and pre-primed. This is just half inch MDF. And we have all of these pieces pre-primed. We did this a um, little while ago and it's just been sitting in the garage and we've been waiting to have some time to focus on it. So today we're gonna start working on it. What we're doing here is we marked the middle of the MDF sheet and now we're just putting our first piece in and this is everything's going to kind of work around this one board so we're just putting it going directly down the middle um, and if you look at our design here that is like this piece that goes all the way through and what we're going to do on all these pieces we're just going to lay them flat and then mark the bottom once we get them in place and then we know where our cut lines are there so we don't have to worry about um, figuring out all these angles. When it comes time to cut the pieces down on your lines, you just want to use a circular saw to cut along the line. And then as you attach, you can see here that we are using a construction adhesive and pushing it into place. And that construction adhesive is an instant grab. Then have one person hold the board into place and the other one nail it into place with a finish nailer. You figured out the right angle and the best way to do it here. So we are using spacers from Nichols. This is what we've used when we've done some like faux shiplap in our house, so it works great. So as I was saying, um, we're using Nichols as spacers and cutting everything with just the circular saw there. And we're just focusing on this top section right now and then we'll move on to the rest. But we're kind of figuring out a system that's working. So when we made the door, we're making it bigger than it needs to be. So it has excess on the edges. So what we're gonna do when we've got all the pieces on front and back, we're going to run the circular saw on the edges to get everything nice and flush down here. As you can see here, it's a little dark in here, but you can see kind of that angle. Like everything's not perfect and this was a lot easier. We'll just do one pass with the saw. Um, save us a lot of time on trying to get all those measurements absolutely perfect, which is pretty difficult. So all, that's all we have to do, and then we'll flip it over to the other side, and then fill the holes, right? And then we'll have to wait for that to dry, and then we can paint tomorrow. That is a little tired. <laughs> it's coming along, though. I You're doing... to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> on the back side, we just did a horizontal slat, and it went a lot faster. <laughs> well... Well, that side went a lot faster. What do you think? That took us like 15 minutes, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, one person was holding and then making sure the spacers, the nickels were, it was pressed up against that, and then one person was nailing. And then we put the same construction adhesive underneath. Super quick. Um, so if you're doing your barn door like this, it's definitely gonna go a lot faster than the, like the other design like we have. So. That was pretty. Yeah, I mean, it's more simple, I like it. It's gonna be good. Um, too. Yeah, on the in the bathroom side. So, yeah, I've been inside working on some of the decor DIY projects. Logan's been out here working on the barn door. Um, so he got everything, all the nail holes patched this morning. Then he sanded it after those were dry. And now what he's doing is we're making lines on the edges where we're cutting it down with the circular saw to get it to the right size and again we did this because these aren't necessarily like flush and it's just easier to kind of throw everything together and then cut it down when you're all done so everything's perfect um so it's coming along and it's looking great i love it this is the side that the is going to be on the bathroom um we just did horizontal lines To cut the line, we used the circular saw and then we also took a board and clamped it to the door to keep our line nice and straight and to use as a guide. 
You can see here that I am sanding the nail holes, but at some point before this, we added trim to the edges of the barn door, which you can't see here, and I didn't snap any videos of it. So I apologize for that, but we did add a small strip of one by two all the way around the perimeter of the door to hide the edges. I just got done sanding all the nail holes that I had filled earlier today, and I realized, um, that I forgot to fill like the line right here. And I think it's pretty noticeable and you want kind of the general X of this design to look seamless. Um, so I decided to, we're gonna be up late tonight anyway, we're starting on the tile. Um, so I decided to just do it. So I put in um, some filler here and I'm gonna wait for that to dry, I'll say in that and then I can start painting this backside but otherwise it looks really good. Then I moved on to painting and I was using the color Snowy Pine by Bear and we used a semi-gloss paint and we applied it with a smooth finish four inch roller. All right, so one paint coat in and I did a much lighter coat than I normally do. So what I did here is I was like pushing off or rolling off a lot of the excess paint when I rolled, um, which is not what I normally do. But I was doing that because I was worried about the paint dripping in between these cracks here. So that's why I'm doing one very light coat. And then I'm gonna come back and do a second coat, but it went on really well. There's no dripping at all. Um, and it looks really good. But um, this is uh, the color that we use on all of our trim and doors in our house. It's Falling Snow by Bear and it's a semi-gloss sheen. So that's that. Done with the first coat. I am going to go inside and check on Logan. Once the paint has dried, you can attach the handle and hardware that you get and just follow along with the instructions provided. And you may or may not need to route out a line on the bottom of the door for your hardware as a guide. We needed to do this and we just used a router to get that line in the door. Here's what it looked like when we got it all hung up. And again, we just follow the instructions that came with our hardware. And here's how that finished barn door turned out. I am obsessed with it. Barn doors are so popular and I've always been a really huge fan, but we've never really had anywhere in our home that made sense to incorporate one. So when we added this door to our bedroom from the bathroom during our recent renovation, I knew it was a perfect spot to add one because we needed a sliding door anyway. So I'm so glad we finally made it happen. And if you're curious on what it looks like on the inside, here is a closer look at that slat design. It's a little different look, but it's equally as beautiful. And the barn door handle that we got comes with that little ledge to open the door from the inside. And of course we had to have it lock. And this lock came with our handle. And if you're curious on some different ways to lock a sliding barn door, I have a whole blog post all about it that I will link in the description below. I just love how this turned out. And I really hope you enjoyed this video of kind of the behind the scenes look at how we built this barn door. If you guys liked this video, be sure to like it and comment below to let us know what you liked. Check out this video next, and then while you're here, subscribe to our channel. We share tons of DIY and renovating tips. See you guys next week.